Do not miss any of our cool videos. Subscribe to our channel for latest updates. Click on the bell icon now. Hello guys, uh, welcome back to another video. In this tutorial, we'll be learning how to import libraries to our ATM software. This is especially useful when you're using components which aren't pre-installed with ATM and uh, this gives you a way of using them. So in this video, we will be making a very simple LED circuit and we will be importing a LED component, LED library to our software. So these are the components and LED which we will be importing, registers and two pin headers. And this is the schematic which we will be referring to in this video. It's a very simple uh, LED circuit. So let's open up Atom and let's get started. So once you've opened up Altium, you want to create a new project. So go to File, New, Project. Let's call a project LED circuit. And create. Let's also right click on a project and create a schematic file. So right click, Add New to Project, Schematic. And now before we start making the schematic, we should we we will have to download the library for the LED which we will be using. So for that, you want to go to this website. I will add the link to this website in the description. You want to snap EDA. And over here, you want to look for the part. So I've already we, we've already seen the part number. So let's copy that. This is the part number. And you want to paste it in the search bar. And search. Uh, you will also have to log in into the website. You will have to make an account. I already have an account, so I've logged in. If you don't, you'll have to sign up. Now, over here, you can see we we can see the part over here. It's a red LED. So you want to click on that. And you can see the symbol and the footprint for a component right here. So you want to click on download symbol and footprint. And you want to select RTM. This should in this should download the library file for you. Now you want to navigate to where you've downloaded the file. Over oh, here, yeah, it's right here. You want to copy this. Go to your projects file, which is usually over here. This is the path. Go to LED circuit. That's the project we are working on right now. Paste it over here. Now let's open up RTM. Now to import the library which you the library which we just installed, you want to go to place part right here. And then there's an option over here called operations. You want to go there and select file based libraries preferences. Over there, you want to click on projects and add library. Select the library which we just downloaded and open. Make sure you can see it over here and then you can close this window. So now when you click on this drop down menu over here, you can see that a part has been successfully, it's been successfully added to the project. So now it's ready to be used in a schematic. So you want to click over there and add it to the schematic. Let's also add our other components. So let's go to miscellaneous devices and add the resistor. And let's also add a connector, which is in miscellaneous connectors. Let's add it to open header, which is right here. Uh, let's delete this extra this right here. So now we can start wiring up a component. So if you want to place the components according to the schematic, let's also add a ground port and a power port. To connect them together, we'll be using a wire. So over here to place wires, there's an option over here, place wire. Or you can go over here on place and there's the option fire or you can use a keyboard shortcut control w and you start wiring up our components once you've wired up your components let's save our schematic control s let's call it led circuit and save Let's also annotate our components in this command. So you want to go to tools, annotation, and then 
you want to click on annotate schematics quietly and then yes let's change the value of the resistor to 360 ohms there we go now now that we've made a schematic we also want to make a pcb so we want to right click on your project add new to project pcb once this window opens up you want to go back to your schematic and you want to update the pcb because we, we can't see our components here yet so let's also save this pcb file let's also call it led circuit let's save this go back to a schematic go to design and click here update pcb document once this window opens up you're in th these are the components and that's which we have used in the schematic you want to validate these changes make sure there's a tick mark every on all of these and execute these changes once that's done you can close this window and you can see our components have been added next we are gonna change the size of our board because it's too big for this small for, for this circuit so to do that you want to open up your properties panel if you cannot see the properties panel go to view panels and then properties then you want to scroll all the way down in your properties panel let me open it up again panels properties you want to scroll all the way down and change the units to millimeters you can work with mills but i'm going to i'm going to be working with millimeters then you want to change come to grid manager right here and double click over here over here we will be changing the step x value to 10 millimeters apply okay now once we've done that we can start working on changing the size of our board so to do that what you want to do is you want to go to view and then you want to change the mode to board planning mode over here the very first one once you've done that you can go to design and select this option redefine board shape now you can redefine the board shape anywhere inside this green area i'm going to make my uh, board over here 30 millimeters by 30 millimeters right here like this and then right click anywhere outside as you can see our size of the board has been changed it's uh, square now you want to go back to view and change it back to 2d layout mode and once you've done that you want to go back to grid and select 0.5 millimeters let's also change the position of our origin so to do that you want to go to edit origin set and change it here keep it on the corner let's add our components to the board now before we start connecting these we want to change a few parameters which regard in regard to the in regard to the tracks we will be making so you want to go to tools uh you want to go to design my bad, and then you go to rules over here you can see there's an option called clearance it'll be under electrical clearance clearance you want to change this value right here minimum clearance to 0 0.3 millimeters then you want to go to width over here in routing there's an option called width you want to go there and change the values to the following 0 0.3 millimeters 0 0.5 millimeters and one millimeter you can get these values from your manufacturer okay hit click on apply and okay now once we've done that we can start changing the position of our components I could have made the board smaller, but this will give us a little more room to work with. Now, now that we've placed the components according to our needs, we can start routing. So to create the tracks, what you want to do is there's an option over here on top called interact route connections, or you can go to place and click on track. Or there's another keyboard shortcut. It's the same as the schematic one, control W. So let's connect these. For the ground connection, we'll be adding a ground core. So to do with that, you go to place, polygon core, 
you want to go to no you want to go to the net and change it from no net to ground and we'll be adding this ground pool to the bottom layer so in layer select bottom layer once you've done that you want to go through the outline of your entire board like this And now you want to right click anywhere outside. So like this, we've added a ground pool. So this concludes the tutorial on how to add third party libraries to RDM. And we've added in this video, we saw how to add a simple LED library and use it in a circuit to make a very simple PCB. So thank you for watching.